Hello everyone, this is Anton Luck 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Spoiled, a mod that adds the ability for you to have your food spoil over time. Currently it is that food will spoil after one day, so you do have to be very careful about what food you have. Uh, obviously you can use certain containers to avoid food from spoiling. The shocker box is available by default, um, but if you want to set more like a chest, maybe a furnace, maybe a modded container, you could obviously set that up as well. Obviously you can tweak things in configs as well as you want. The client one that appears easily in your .minecraft config folder has it where you can set a percentage to be displayed instead of a sort of fresh or spoiled sort of um, rating for it. And the server config you can determine the container that your food won't spoil in, such as the shulker box, which I'll show off, and then there's the craft wicker support. So, by default it'll display fresh, as you can see there, and it's sort of moving about there, the food, I'm assuming sort of calculating its um, freshness to spoiling. Uh, otherwise, if we want to, we can slash reload after changing the config for it to display percentages instead of freshness, and we'll reload that now since we've saved it. You can see that it's now showing spoiling progress and a percentage determining how much it is through spoiling over time. Uh, otherwise though, if you want to determine the container that won't have food spoil in it, you've got the shocker box by default, then you could add more such as a chest, furnace, modded ones, whatever you want. Obviously you'd want one that has a lot more slots to determine that. Uh, if we went with actually stacking food, we'll actually see how that is. Because um, I'm not sure if we can... Yeah, so they're completely separate now because one's further through spoiling and the others aren't. So this would pretty much almost be like the old days of the game where you would have it where they don't stack, but instead it's the certain ones stack because of spoiling reasons rather than the fact that they just couldn't at that time because um, it just hadn't been programmed that way. Uh, otherwise though, we do have Craft Picker support, which allows you to determine, obviously, the importing of the package to constructing spoil data. So there's a unique ID you can set, the item stack, food stack, the spoil stack, and the spoil time. You can also set variables for beef being converted to rotten, being determined by the spoil data of um, the Minecraft beef, and then obviously I'm assuming a conversion of it, or the converted one that there is, because the mod itself doesn't add anything, so I'm assuming it might change things to rotten flesh possibly over time, as I don't think rotten flesh can be fresh? No, so it can't be fresh, so I'm assuming it'll be determined like that, where it converts it. Spider eyes do spoil, rotten flesh doesn't, so I'm assuming most things might convert to rotten flesh. I haven't actually seen it in action, and I don't think changing the time of day also changes anything either. No, so that doesn't change anything to the spoiling process. Uh, otherwise though, you can regi register the um, change of spoiling and importing a package for that. Um, otherwise, you can register the spoiling of beef to rotten, replacing if you want to, and also removing the effect, I'm assuming, or those that can't be affected, I'm assuming that relates to. Uh, otherwise though, I'm pretty sure that's it. Obviously I haven't witnessed how long it actually spoils, um, since obviously it does take a day. But um, yeah, I'm assuming it converts to rotten flesh. I don't know exactly, but that's just my prediction. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.